Hey y'all, it's Thursday night, which means it is time for a scandal review. This is season three, episode 18, the finale. Okay, now, you know, we pretty much start off with um, Cyrus listening to the eulogy that fits on road. And at the end, he do try to sell him like at the last second. Um, this is what's on my nails. If I have enough time, I probably won't not talk about my nails, but then all of a sudden, moving along, Jake comes in and he tells Fitz, you know, oh, we have a situation. So pretty much, um, they get everybody out. Well, they get most of the people out, but the bomb still goes off. Okay. Now let me, let me just say that this, this finale, <laughs> this finale was everything. This, it was so much going on. So much. First thing, here comes Sally um, and her little fixer man, Leo. You know, Fitz not ordered them to get her out of there because, you know, this is national national security. Here come Leo talking about, uh-uh, hold on, we need to do this. He done ripped Sally jacket and took some smut and put it on her face. Just roughed her up, if you will. Just really got her just looking all... You know, like she liked the dad. And then they, you know, they going around trying to, she tending somebody's wounds. So pretty much they use this as an opportunity, you know, to get some press. And just like everybody said on Twitter, I mean, that was a smart move. I was like, really, Sally? Really? <laughs> but then she going, she praying and all this other stuff. So, of course, it worked. So, of course, Sally is going up in the polls. And as soon as they see it, Liv and Cyrus talking. And Liv is like, we're going to lose next week. And Cyrus is like, oh, honey, we done lost today. This is over. Now, we also see Daddy Pope, you know, he done made it. You know, I guess the prayer warriors was praying for him or something because he done made it. Um, I did see a posting um, on Facebook that he was on the sick and shut-in list. So... Obviously, them prayers work, but we're going to get to him. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Then we see Harrison and Abby walking in to Pope and Associates. And they hear some, you know, tussling and rustling. And who is it? Huck and Quinn in here having this animal sex that they having. <laughs> And Abby like, Hook like, what? Well, no, Harrison like, well, what's this on the floor? Who blood? And Abby like, well, that's Daddy Pope. You know, he was stabbed. And she go take, look at them talking about, well, does this turn y'all on or something? I was like, Lord. I guess, honey, like I said last week, when you old murderer or something, I guess, you know, regular stuff don't turn you on no more. So I guess the, the puddle of blood did it for them. And they was in the heat of passion. I don't know. Now, then we see Charlie. Quinn Boo. He done gave Quinn an envelope. And he said, I'm giving um, Hulk what he's always wanted. And honestly, when he gave her that envelope, I already knew what it was. I already knew that was his family. I knew it. Okay. Now, we see, like I said, everybody pretty much done gave up on the election. I mean... We ain't even 20 minutes into the episode and they done gave up. So we see Fitz and Liv and they're talking and they're pretty much like, you know, we can go to Vermont and yada yada whoop whoop and I can make jam and oh Fitz talking about we're going to have two babies and they're talking and Liv is like, well, what about, you know, Millie? And he like, she ain't never loved me. She just loved president, you know, that I was a president and what I could do, you know, like the status. She didn't love me, the man. She loved the status. So Liv pretty much is like, okay, I have something to tell you. Um, Big Grant or whatever, maybe your daddy Grant, um, he raped Millie when you were running for governor. And he like, she like, and, she, and Liv's like, no, she's telling the truth. I can tell she's telling the truth. So, of course... Fitz go in there and he's talking to her and she pretty much tells him 
that she fought she did you know try to fight his dad off and um you know she she did fight him off or whatever but he was too strong and that the whole while she kind of thought that maybe she told him but our son Fitzgerald the fourth is yours you know he's your child um and he pretty much said like I don't care like he didn't you know in his mind hell it's my son I don't raise him now then like right after this y'all no lie I put it on my Facebook I put it on my Twitter it was about 30 minutes deep in, in the show I was like look I'm calling the Saints the prayer warriors because I was getting mad because I'm like, this is not live. This ain't Cyrus. Like, they giving up. Like, come on, man. Live done gave up. Everybody done gave up. So I was like, yeah, we need we need somebody to start some prayer hard. Okay. Then we see Liv go to see her daddy. And well, she's at the hospital. And her and Fitz, this is his last, you know, speech. And he's telling her like this is gonna be my last speech. Um, pretty much what he's he's pretty much saying is, I'm, I know I'm gonna lose and I'm not gonna run again. You know, so I'm not gonna run again in four years. Um, you know, because I know I'm gonna lose. So she's like, well, something about stay on the phone. You know, they they didn't want to hang up the phone and. He was he was telling her like I wish I could be there with you you know with your dad and she was like no you have to give this speech so it's him Millie the daughter and the son Fitzgerald the fourth okay so live hang up with him and it's like everything is going on at the same time they have once they'll go from one scene bouncing back and forth back and forth we see they introduce Fitz Fitzgerald. And he goes out and he's talking and the family's standing behind him. And we see Liv. She walks in Daddy Pope uh, hospital room. And Mama's sitting right up there. Sitting pretty, honey. And all of a sudden, you know, she's like off in the call security. And her mom pretty much like, I did, you know, you may not see it, but I did everything for you. Everything I've done, I did it for you. And I, you know, Fitz, he, he's using you. He's going to use you up, spit you out. And I was trying to give you the opportunity to just be free. At the same time, we see, honestly, at first, I thought the boy had got shot. I didn't hear a gun, but how he like, you know, during that jerk, I thought that the son had got shot. Then we all of a sudden see blood. And Millie looking at him like, what's going on? And then the pole boy just hit the floor. She's screaming for Fitz. Oh, God. Then we see Fitz. He walking down the steps with the sun in his, his arms. And y'all, I'm sorry. But as soon as they said that, I said, oh, he don't want him. He don't want this election. Because nobody's going to, they're not going to let him lose. He just lost his child. So I said, well, Sally, I know you don't ripped your shirt. And put some some smut on your face but baby it's over i knew it so um they do have Liv do the press you know conference and announce that he has been killed okay then he's at the same hospital that daddy pope is at okay so then we see hook finds you know we see quinn she tells hook what psycho charlie gave her and she pretty much is like i love you um and i feel like you need to know that this is your family hulk get mad like hulk is really really mad and he's like why did you tell me this why'd you bring me here so that's their little scene then we see at the hospital we see that fitz finds out that his son had uh, meningitis but the strand of meningitis was locked up no you know it's not it's not one that's like out in the environment so come to find out they say that it's mama pope so of course here we come super sale daddy pope he comes and he's like well uh i know we ain't friends but i you know i can get her i can get her head on a platter talking about mama pope okay 
So, pretty much, he goes to Harrison and tells Harrison that his old love, Anon, is dead. And Harrison tells him what he knows about Mama Pope money. Okay. Fitz tells Liv that it was her mama who killed his son and that she's pretty much, you know, that's not her fault. Now, we see that Liv decides that she's going to leave. She feels like everything is her fault. The people who are dead uh, because her mama did everything um, because of her. Like, everybody, everything's just her fault all of a sudden. Which I was joking. I said, I don't know if it's these pregnancy hormones, but I'm going to need her to get out her feelings, okay? But I was, you know, joking. Now, okay. So, she's packing. Here come Jake Thirsty Ass. He come talking about, take me with you. She told oh, you want to stand in the sun with me? I'm just like, okay, fine, whatever. Now, next we see Abby, which I'm, I'm sorry, but I was with Abby. Abby was giving Liv the business. Some people were saying on Twitter, like, oh, they're not her real friends. Whatever. She needed to hear that because Liv on some other stuff right now. So we see Harrison. He goes to see Daddy Pope. And he's like, yeah, we got, we got, Daddy Pope's like, we got uh, Maya. Which he tells Fitz that Maya is dead. I knew. I knew that that woman was not dead. I knew it. I mean at the very end of the episode. While they playing Papa was a Rolling Stone. They show her down. They got her down to the floor. In the little cage. The the hole in the floor that they had her in. In season one I think. It might have been season two. Um, when they was doing like flashbacks or whatever. Just tell how Hook got to be 613. So, it pretty much ends. We see Liv and Jake on the plane. Millie is calling her. She ignored the call. We see Fitz has broken. Fitz is broke. Fitz has fell to the ground, which he was strong the night his son died. Millie and the daughter had to be sedated. You know, Fitz was strong, but, you know, they have officially announced that he's won the election, but he's... Yeah, he's he's broken. He has he got the shakes. He done fell to the floor, and he's just on the floor. He won't say anything, you know, like he won't get up. Millie's telling him, "Please get up, please get up." And he's like, "Where's Olivia? Like he needs Olivia." Okay, Harrison. Harrison goes to see Daddy Pope, and when he goes to see Daddy Pope, Harrison pretty much figure it out that. It wasn't Mama Pope this whole time. It was Daddy Pope. It was Daddy Pope scheming to get back on top of B613 and, and get everything that he once had. And it looks that they have killed Harrison because he figured it out. Pretty much like if we remember at the end of season one when, or maybe the beginning of season two, when Liv is supposed to get on the plane and leave. Her daddy tell her, you're going to get on this plane, come hell or high water, and I'm the hell. So, that's pretty much telling her, you get on this plane. And he had the man that's like the Secret Service man. He the one killed the president's son. Because it, it makes no sense. Because just like Harrison said, Mama Pope is all about money. That's it. She's all about money. She didn't want Fitz to win the election. So, she's not going to do anything that's going to trigger him winning. And his son dying got him the sympathy vote. Now, in real life, we all know that Columbus Short has been kind of going through some stuff lately. Um, like, you know, legal issues and stuff. So, I don't know if that's what led them to possibly killing him off. I, I don't know, y'all. I hope it's some kind of way that Harrison ain't dead off the show. Um... But like my mama said, this is like this is the last video of scandal. But my mother said that if you look at it, Liv and her mom, like Mama Pope and Daddy Pope, both love Olivia. They love in a different way. But Daddy Pope, I everybody thought that Mama Pope was heartless. She's something else. But that Daddy, he ain't no good. But y'all, that's my review. We gotta wait till next season. Thank y'all for watching.